Cell phone devices and electronic gadgets are now the greatest promoters of poor posture. A new study published by Surgical Technology International reveals that the forward tilting of the head, a common position seen when texting, exerts pressure up to 60 pounds on the cervical spine, depending on the angular position of the head in relation to the neck. Physiatrists, the medical experts who specialize in physical medicine and rehabilitation, define good posture as ears being aligned with the shoulders with the shoulder blades retracted. Proper alignment of the ears with the shoulders ensures less stress on the spine. With poor posture, the natural curve of the cervical spine is lost, resulting in the elevation of stress about the spine, stress that leads to wear and tear and faster degeneration, which can impair quality of life. The weight pressed on the spine increases with forward flexion of the head. As the angle of the head tilting increases, so does the forces acting on the neck. In a neutral position, the proper posture, the head only weighs around 10 to 12 pounds. At a 15 degree angle, the force that acts on the spine surges to 27 pounds. At 45 degrees, the pressure increases to 49 pounds. And at 60 degrees, the force becomes as much as 60 pounds, a load much similar to the weight of an eight-year-old child. According to Dr. Kenneth Hansraj, a spinal and orthopedic surgeon, most people spend around two to four hours a day tilting their heads to read and text on their smartphones and electronic devices. That is around 700 to 1400 hours per year of too much pressure on their spine. A smartphone addicted high school student might even spend as much as 5,000 extra hours on poor posture just to have access on that latest social networking trends and videos. Oh yeah, that same high school student might be carrying a 20 to 30 pound book bag on their back that's probably not helping their back either. There's nothing wrong about having the latest technologies and gadgets. You can text all you want without developing a poor posture. You can avoid wear and tear and deterioration and possible surgeries of your cervical spine. Assume a neutral spine position when texting and scanning your phone. Stand straight. Keep yourself from spending too much time hunching over. Having a good posture is the best way to save your neck from later pains.